Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Grounded. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the basics of what's in the Shroom and Doom update, including the building stuff, where the burgle chips are, recipes, etc. So that you can just kind of very quickly see what you need to do without going through about a million different videos. So hopefully if you find it useful, smash the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And this is where we stream now. So if you want to catch a stream, feel free. So... First of all, just going to show you where we are on the map. This is where the Hayes Lab is. It is now open. There's not much going on in here because, you know, the lab's not finished, but this is where they wanted to put the chip. Now, hopefully you can see, I haven't got a torch. I'm just running through in the dark. You don't really need a torch. Torch is helpful. There are bad guys in here. These horrible things here, you got to kill them. Die. Okay, there's one. Grab some science. Oh, there's another one. Come on. Here we go. Another one down, another one down, another one back to dust. Uh, like I say, there's not much in here, so there's no point traveling around too much. In fact, we're just going to leave that guy in there. He doesn't matter. Uh, oh, lots of infected weevils, which is nice. You're going to run down here. You're going to go through the water. So we're going to go for a little bit of a swim. And then eventually, you are going to find some land that you can uh, go up into. There it is, little doorway. You're going to go up through the doorway. And here we are in this little room where the burgle chip is safely sat on the table. So we grab that burgle chip, job done. Like I say, it's nothing else in here apart from a bit of raw so -so 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 science, which you're going to need an absolute ton of for this Shroom and Doom update, by the way. So go start collecting raw science, all right? So I'm going to swim back out again. I always get lost in here. There we go, just up to the right. So just, just to double check for you, when you go down into the water, all right, you're going to want to go round to the left and round to the left again. And it's right there. That's the door you want to go through. Okay. Easy, simples, very, very easy. You don't even have to kill these infected weevils. Look, you can just leave them. Um, I'm going to leave them because, you know, we don't want to have to kill everything. I'll just be mean. So there you go. Out we come again. And we're going to leave the lab. Do, 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 do. Easy peasy. All right. Especially if you've got a mallet that you can hit these... Uh, hit these little fellas with. But there we go. That is the Burgle chip done. Now you're going to want to go and take it and give it to Burgle. Here you go, Burgle. Here's a Burgle chip, mate. Brilliant. Here we go. Give Burgle a Burgle chip. And then if you go and have a look at the raw science, now we can buy something called Advanced Production Buildings. Now this is what you need to be able to tame stuff. This is what you need to be able to build the B make the BLT and tame the brew, uh, fight the brew mother. You need this for everything. So Advanced Production Buildings... Bye. But while we're at it, we've got enough. We'll have feather roofs too. There we go. So, advanced production buildings. Heck. So, you're going to need a tier 2 hammer at this point. I've got a video on my channel that shows you how to make a tier 2 hammer. And then you need to go over to the barbecue, which you can see on screen right now over there. And we're going to have to try and get some charcoal, which is underneath the barbecue. And you, you basically hit it with the, with the hammer. Super simple. So, let's go do that. Now, you'll see that the charcoal is being guarded by stink bugs and mosquitoes. This charcoal is super, super amazeballs. No, it's, it's not. It's just being guarded. There we go. There's a piece here. All right, guys. So this is what the charcoal looks like. Hit it with the hammer. There you go. One piece of charcoal. Hit this with a hammer again. Two pieces of charcoal. Now you're going to notice in the building menu that you have an oven and you also have the grinder. These two are just here. The grinder, you need to put stuff in which grinds it down into slurry one of which you use for taming the pets and the other one you use to make the mushroom bricks uh so that's what that's for and then the oven is for making things such as the brood mother blt now the the stuff you're going to need is boiling glands and clay and charcoal to make the oven i've already put the charcoal in and then you're going to need a crow feather or two crow feather pieces acorn shells flower petals and bombardier parts for the grinder. So if you want to be making a massive base out of mushrooms, just going to throw this in here, you're going to need a few of these ovens and you are going to need a few of these. So make sure before the update comes out that you've stocked up on bombardier parts, crow feather pieces, definitely, because they seem to be quite scarce in the update and uh, obviously boiling glands and the charcoal and things like that as well. Just quickly show you how to use the grinder. What you're going to want to do is grab some stuff. So you can use, you can ground the plant stuff down or for the mushroom bricks, you're going to need this, okay? You're going to need to chop down the mushrooms. They are now choppable with a tier two axe. So we chop a couple of these down. You don't have to. 
You can actually use the little mushrooms as well. So before, if you don't have a tier two axe yet, you can just use the uh, the little mini mushrooms and you can, you can use them and turn them into slurry as well. Take the mushroom pieces and put them into the grinder. They're now gonna grind down into slurry. Um, right, so let's take one of those and let's put plant fiber in there as well. So I'll show you what the plant slurry is like too. We have got mushroom slurry, which we use to make bricks, and we've got the plant slurry, which used to tame things. Now, we need a couple of plant slurry, so I can show you how to tame. I'll do that at the end of the video. And the bricks we can now make using the mushroom slurry. You can also use the mushroom slurry to tame weevils. So you can turn it into bricks, but you can also tame weevils with it. I'll show you how to do that later. But the next thing we're going to need is the recipe for the Broodmother BLT, for which we are going to need to go over to the hedge. This is the exact location, uh, to be exact. <laughs> uh, and what we're going to do is we need to go all the way through to the hedge lab. So we're going to run through the hedge as per usual, um, just the normal way. It's not actually that difficult to get at. The uh, observatory is where we're going, though. So if you know where the observatory is, then you can skip through this part of the video straight to the next part. Ah, don't jump off the edge, you muppet. Uh, you can jump straight through to the next part if you know where the observatory is. Uh, but basically, you have to go all the way through the hedge, all the way to the other end, and uh, right up into the top, the far top corner of the tree. But I will take you there. Like the uh, amazing host that I am. Do, do, do. When, when did I put that there? I do not remember putting that there. <laughs> okay, anyway, that's not where we need to go. Distracted, Callum, distracted. Right, let's head off in this direction. So we're going to go past here, uh, collect what's inside, because there is uh, bits and bobs, like some raw s -s -s science, which obviously is always useful. Head off in this direction past where the new brood mother lives. In fact, while we're here, I might as well throw that location in for you as well. Give me one second. Let's zoom across. Zoomy zoomies. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, if you think it's useful, I like to get things done pretty quickly. I don't like to faff around. So if you think that is a good thing and you're enjoying it, make sure to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to hang out with us live because this is where I live stream now. No more Twitch. So, uh, yeah, feel free to jump in with the live streams. This is where the broodmother lives. I'm going to throw this in the video now because um, then I don't have to come back later. This is where the broodmother lives. When you make the BLT, which we're going to get the recipe for in a second, then you need to come over to this area, put it in. She will spawn in from the ceiling. It will trap you in here. You cannot leave. You cannot respawn and come back. And uh, you have to fight her. She's tough. So if you want to see me doing that, Make sure to hit us up on stream. Anyway, let's head back out in this direction to this area. All right. So, we are headed over to this guy. Okay, we are headed over to the hedge lamp. Now, this is really not that tricky to get to. Oh, more raw sources of science. We're going to just avoid them because there's no point. What we want to do is go up and around here. So once you've come down there, right, and you go through this little bit, you're going to come up and around here. You don't have to faff anymore with any of the rest of it. Go up, 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 and over the top. I'm going to jump up on this leaf. Jump up on this one. Don't fall off when you haven't got a uh, dandelion tuft equipped. I've just realized I do not. So let's not be stupid. Let's equip one of those bad boys. There we go. At least now if we fall off, we won't die. Uh, so you're going to want to be on the roof of the actual uh, of the actual lab, right? You're going to want to be on the roof of the lab. So what we need to do is we need to... Which way should we go down? Let's go down this way. Dun, 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 dun. Like so. And we can go straight back outside because we don't want to be in there. Um, and we're going to go up in this direction. 
We are headed for the observatory, don't forget. So we're not going to go in that direction. We're going to go in the other direction. I record these all in one take just because I'm lazy like that. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. You want to go up on these mushrooms and we're going out in this direction. So, do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I can hear a mosquito's come to ruin my day, isn't he? I am not in the mood for you, sir. Are you, are you literally actually coming to ruin my day? You better not be. Anyway, here's the observatory. Don't stand too close to the door because it will knock you off. And then inside we go, grab, gather some science. And uh, there is a couple of notes. One of them is the broodmother research notes, if we can find that one. And it tells you how to make it. Ladybug bombardier cooked. Oh, the Christmas tree. Forgot we had the biggest Christmas tree in the whole of Grounded. Do you remember that? Remember the biggest Christmas tree in the whole of Grounded? Yeah, I remember that. That was epic. Okay, so we'll get back to the oven now. You'll see there it is. Broodmother BLT requires two bombardier parts, two ladybug parts, and a thistle needle. That's it. You make that. You go back to the broodmother's den. You put it in, and boom, she appears. Ready for you to uh, get your butt kicked. <laughs> No, I'm sure she will, she will, I'm sure you will kick her, but obviously. So now all that's left is to go and get ourselves a little pet. There's an aphid just here. So what you need to do to tame something is you literally just drop the slurry on the floor. The plant slurry for aphids, mushroom slurry for the weevils. So if we let that, watch, watch as the little aphid. It's going to take it, it's going to take it. Yum, 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 he says. Yum, 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 I'm your best friend now. Is he going to be my best friend now? Are you my best friend now? Crap, still scared. No, it's not good. No, you can't eat it. You need to die. This for this guy. He's our best friend. You need two of them. Two of them to tame him. So there we go, he's going to eat that. That should be him done. Should be our best friend then. There we go. We got a new pet aphid. Look, hello, mate. How are you doing? So now we've got ourselves a pet aphid. What we need to do is we need to bring him over here. Follow me. Follow me, aphid. Follow me. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. This way. This way. What we're going to do, we're going to build him a little house. Once you've analyzed the mushroom bricks, you'll see that you can build something new called a pet house. It's right down at the bottom here. Pet house. There it is. Funky little shack to house pets and track their stats. So what we're going to do is we're going to build one of those right next to our very chair. And you need weed stems, acorn shells, mushroom bricks, and crow feather pieces in order to make it. Right, so our pet is now living in this little house. Hopefully, with a bit of luck. Um, withdraw pet. Yep, he lives there. Beautiful. So the pet now lives in his little house. Amazing. And as the sun goes down in the backyard, that's pretty much the basics of what you are going to need to do first in the Shroom and Doom update. There are obviously other little bits and bobs dotted around that I will let you find. And of course, if you fight the Broodmother, you're going to get extra stuff for that. You get some new armor and some other bits and bobs. So... Go kill the broodmother. Let me know how you get on in the comments. I'm going to be doing it live on stream. So if you want to be here for that, then make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up. I will speak to you guys soon. Stay grounded. Bye-bye.